Hi, this is Mary Jean Murphy and welcome to Stella Studio and I am in Rosemont, Illinois, which is a suburb of Chicago and I'm here with Patience Griffin, an author that I met. Hi Patience. Hi there. Tell me about your books. I was intrigued when I saw that they were about Scotland. Yes, it's the Kilts and Quilts series and it's about a group of quilters in small town Scotland and I love the community of women so it's a women's fiction slash romance. Is there a main character that is all throughout your books, or is your books a series, or is it just uh, separate books? It's both. Uh, it's a series, and right now there's five. Uh, the fifth book just came out on Tuesday. Very exciting. Uh, it's set in the same town, but I've tried to write each book to be a standalone book. So if you end up starting with book five, like somebody that came through here yesterday, <laughs> she was very shocked because she just finished it. She's like, I didn't know there were other books. So. Oh, well, lucky her. If she enjoyed exactly. that book, then she gets a couple of more books to uh, to dive yeah. into. Maybe yeah. on the ride. Yes, thank you. absolutely. Thank you. I appreciate it. How did you come up with the idea of doing it? What your inspiration was, of course, your love for the area, I'm sure. I love Scotland, uh, love the people, love the language. I used to listen to audiobooks of a lot of ones that have accents, and I fell in love with all the Scottish books. Um, and I love quilting, and so I do, and I like writing about the community of women. That's really important to me. And you have quilts in your books, too. Absolutely. Yes, and there are quilts on the walls here. Um, Cynthia from Ibisar Quilts, with whose booth I'm in right now, she has designed a quilt for each one of my books. Is there patterns in your books or patterns that accompany the books? There's patterns here for purchase, and you can purchase them on my website, or you can purchase some of them from Ibisar Quilts also. Do you have more books in your head? Are you ready oh, yes. coming up with more? Oh yes, so book six will be out in December. I finished the first draft right before I came. And I have written a, uh, The Laird and I, which is this little novella right here. It's a bridge between this series and the next. My readers have told me I can never leave Gandy Gal, which is the town. So I will be writing this series at once. So can we have a sneak peek or is it a big secret? A big secret about where we're going to next. Uh huh. Okay, I can tell you because it's it's in the novella that we're going to go to a wool community. Where we're in a fishing village for the first book, and the next community is a wool artist. Oh, well, that sounds great. That sounds great. So we're in Iowa. What is this? I Iowa, Iowa Star, Star Quilts. Quilts. Iowa Star Quilts for some of the patterns and tell them how we can get in touch with you or how do we maybe read a little more about your books that uh, we can order them. Well, I am on Amazon and Barnes and & Noble and iTunes and Kobo, anywhere. I'm everywhere. Uh, and if you wanted to read a sample and you have a Kindle, you can go and download a sample from Amazon. Uh, you can go to my website at www.patiencegriffin.com and I have all my books on there where you can, there, there's links. Everything is an audiobook also, which I love audiobooks. I do too. <laughs> I do too. I think a lot of quilters and uh, crafters like audiobooks because you can still do what you're doing and just listen in the background. Exactly. Or long drives, which that's my favorite thing to do. Yeah, long drives. Yes. So, I am loving this. I hope the readers of and the uh, watchers of Stella Studios love it too. And thank you very much for joining me today. You're welcome. This was fun. Thank you. Mm -hmm.